Heaven, yeah, you spore-brained yeah, idiot. You that. did it! You're a genius! You made it so that we don't need to talk to people anymore. We can take a picture of the plant, and that counts as one piece of evidence. Didn't even take a picture of the plant there. Pretty sure he took a picture of Emma's chest, but sure, we'll take it. If we wanted to take another picture, we can't, because we already have one photo. Wouldn't count. But we can pass this over to Emma and then take another picture, which means we have infinite evidence. Kevin, point the camera at the damn plant. What's up guys and welcome back to The Sims 4 and for today's episode we're going to try to get to the bottom of the Strangerville mystery. So far we know that there's some kind of mother that's spreading these weird glowing plants all over the landscape and if one of the spores in those plants gets into your brain it possesses you. So after a quick visit to the not so secret government lab inside of a crater we found a giant door that we can't get through. Now everybody loves a good government secret, so of course uh, that's going to be our first objective. What? Now there's two Sorry, kinds of people that work at these secret labs, okay? You got the jock military personnel, and you got the nerdy scientists. And if I had to choose between one of the two to convince to give me government secrets, it's going to be the nerds. Okay, Emma, <laughs> would you please don your convincing attire? Thank you very much, poor nerds never saw it coming. Hey there, my little ginger man bun. Is that a government ID in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? Military ranked officer level 5 or above can get a keycard to the restricted area of the lab. Just use a computer to requisition a keycard, and they'll mail you one. I've heard civilians are finding ways to get them too, though. Wow! I didn't even ask him about the lab. All I did was say hello, and he spilled the beans and blew his load all at once. I don't suppose I can question him about the secret lab as well. Look at all the nerds lining up to talk to Emma. You see, this works wonders. Just sit down, don't cross your legs, and they'll tell you anything you want to know. I used to work in that lab, but ever since the explosion, I, I've said too much. I can't share that information with strangers. Oh, we're not strangers. I've been told that if anyone asks me for evidence, I should report them, but I'm starting to think the public should hear about what's going on. Ooh, interesting. And away he goes. Okay, well, we're, we're getting pretty shocked at all the colander heads walking around. Maybe we should talk to one of the conspiracy theorists here. We can request a key card from them. What? The Christmas lights, the colander, the mustache, and all the patches on the vest. You're a real ladies' man, aren't you? I can tell. I hear the scientists and military personnel have access to a key card. Try asking them. Oh, so you're useless. All right, then. I'll, I'll see you later, loser. Kevin has not said two words to this lady. She just walked over and started mumbling things at him, and now she won't go away. I get the feeling she's waiting for him to rip his shirt off and start asking her questions with his six pack, but he's actually doing good work here. Okay, and I know it looks like he's playing Blick Block, but he has discovered some things, such as the fact that you can request a key card if you're level five of the military career. That's what the nerd was talking about. I didn't realize it's a military career now. So we could get into the career, rank up, and then legally enter the lab. But that would take way too long, and that's not nearly as fun as uploading a secret dossier to the hacker forums. Use evidence in your Sims inventory to compile a secret dossier. Oh, right. We have evidence. Photo of bizarre plant. Collect 15 pieces of Strangerville evidence to compile a secret dossier. Evidence can be found by questioning the locals or poking around the secret lab. You guys are not gonna believe this, but if we want to ask a scientist for evidence, it says people in Strangerville are not going to share top secret information with just anyone. Really? Not just not just somebody with long legs and big boobies? I really doubt it. So we've had to talk to literally everybody here and become good friends with all these losers so that we can request evidence from the secret lab. Now, can you give me anything? I need uh, five, maybe six pieces of evidence. I've seen five or six nerds here, so how about we all just gather around and empty our pockets? Come on, give it up. 
Technically, the conspiracy theorists don't work at the lab, but that doesn't mean that they can't find evidence. I really shouldn't be giving you this, but here, Emma received Strangerville Evidence 1 Infrared Microfilm. Okay. So, really, any strange person in the library at midnight should have something of interest for me. This has taken way longer than I would have ever expected, but we now have a hastily scrawled note. Which means Emma has three, and Kevin has well, and Kevin's also possessed again. Yeah, that spore is really sticking in his brain. It's probably the same size as his brain. Should we be trusting Kevin with all the evidence? I don't know if that's a great idea. Maybe we should, yeah, you know what, that, that's definitely a bad idea. Whoa, whoa, no, no, Kevin, come back with the evidence! Dude, I don't know what Kevin wants with you, but I would probably be running right about now. He sprinted clear across the neighborhood to find this guy in a dark alleyway, and I don't know what's happening. We're just chatting. Just, just having a conversation. A normal conversation? Can I... Complain about normal human problems, discuss human things, enthuse about human hobbies, <laughs> praise the great mother, or talk about plants. Jungle wow. Okay, let, let's complain about normal human problems. I've never seen this before. <laughs> Why does it randomly kick in? This is the third or fourth time now that we've slapped Kevin silly, and he was fine, and then he just kind of snaps out of boredom and then does his own crazy possessed thing. I know it looks like we have five choices here, but I don't think we really have any options. <laughs> Everything I tell him to do, he just kind of mumbles and crinkles and smiles and... Yeah, and he's got all the evidence, so Emma, we might need to fix this. First things first, let's try to fix Kevin, but then we might be able to talk to this dude. Right? We got rid of the tart outfit, but at the same time, he may be willing to give up some information if we show him that we know what we're doing. Open your eyes to the beauty of her blossoms. Oh, you are going to get an extra slapping for that. Oh. Oh! Okay, no, you're supposed to slap him silly to make him snap out of it. Okay, I guess that works too. <laughs> Let's be honest, okay? Kevin's a big dude, but it's for the best that it didn't come down to trading blows because Emma would kick his ass. Kevin's a puss. <laughs> Emma's a badass. Okay, so. We're good. So we should be able to take these 15 pieces of evidence and compile them into a secret dossier. This can be used to obtain a key card for the secret lab. Check the curio shop owner's secret inventory or ask scientists or military personnel around town. I thought I was supposed to upload it to the internet, aren't I? Do I want to upload it to the internet? Would I lose it then? I'm gonna upload it anyway. You know what? Get out of the way, loser. Your time with the computer is up. And worst case scenario, we gotta make 15 more friends and do it all over again. Please tell me this gets me a key card. Usually, uploading something to the internet means you don't lose the original. And we lost the original. The Strangerville Hacker Forum thanks you for your upload. We will review your... Review my what? Did hackers seriously just rob two hours of work from me through the internet? <laughs> you have got to be kidding. Okay, I know technically Emma was the one to do the upload, but this is Kevin's fault. Give me a key card or I'm gonna stomp you into paste and sift you through that stupid thing on your head. I got a piece of evidence about the Strangerville mystery from a military officer I befriended. That's nice, did you give it to me? You didn't give it to me. Can I please have a key card? Yes, Kevin, that's darling. Okay, not right now, I'm busy. Please give me a key card, okay? I was tricked on the internet. Stop being flirty and talk to the nerd. Come on, you know you want to. You, you desperately want to give me that key card because then you get to look at me for a little longer. I think I have a key card in my secret inventory. I will only sell this to you if you can prove you. If I can prove I what? Why are the dialogue options cut off? If I prove I can stomp you into paste because I will, he's not going to give me the key card. You have to be kidding me right now. 
well, so much for the Strangerville mystery. Like, the only thing that we learned is that nerds like big butts and tight skirts. It doesn't exactly provide any information to us. There is a socialite growing on the ground. What is this? The Geode Council. What does any of that mean? And we need to get them... Get, get up off the ground, guys, okay? You know, it, we may be screwed, and Evie may be covered in soot. Did a fire break out while we were gone? I feel like I missed something. Kevin has collected the mail. Great. So, I'm assuming that we have a secret lab key card. What? I was going to say, I assume we have bills to pay and we haven't gone to work in a few weeks because we've been busy with mysteries. But now I'm a lot more curious why our pet raccoon is sick again or how somebody falls asleep in the bathtub and proceeds to stink. <laughs> like, what happened in this house when we were gone? Everybody is passed out and reeks. Can none of you take care of each other, Tommy? No, not you too. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. What is happening here? You know what? Screw it, okay? I don't care. We have spent this entire episode just trying to get this stupid key card. So you better believe that we're gonna open the secret door. Also, my mouse died, so I can't turn the camera anymore. <laughs> so we're gonna have to end the episode one way or another very soon. Uh, Emma, you may want to just take a, a bit of a step back real quick. You know, if there are more spores in there, which there seems to be. Oh, that's bad. I mean, not, not really, right? Because Kevin's dummy brain has no more vacancies. <laughs> this is what I expected. Where did he go? Uh, oh, hold on, hold on. Emma, you go wait over here, okay? We need your brain intact. Kevin, what you doing? Yeah, that all looks pretty freaking ominous. What are we supposed to do next? Come to think of it, because we do have... Are you kidding me? Because I didn't do stuff in order, it doesn't count? So I need to make 15 more friends and then do the dossier again and open the door with her rather than Kevin? And are the spores in the world now? Was that always the case? That is not good. Not good! The bloom begins. Leaving the secret lab, you can't help but notice the sky has shifted to an eerie color. Something has changed in Strangerville, and not for the better. Opening that lab door must have released some kind of toxin into the air. You will need to find a way to protect yourself from the toxic spores in the secret lab. Try talking to people around town to see if they know anything that might help. No more talking to people, okay? I can handle the fact that Kevin has doomed humanity to brain parasites, but no more small talk. Question military personnel at the local bar to get an infection scanner. It can be used to find spore clusters, and then we can construct an infection profile using 15 spore clusters. Again, do we really need to worry about protecting ourselves from the spores if we're already infected? Like, coming through that door, Kevin got a good whiff of them, so how about we just try to go down the hallway anyway? Yeah, we got a key card. I believe in you, Kevin! Kevin wouldn't know what to do with himself if we didn't treat him like a guinea pig. Yeah, okay. A little bit of coughing. And then backing away. Oh. That's probably not good. Yeah, we probably should have expected as much, but it was worth a try. Like I said, he couldn't get more infected. Don't worry about it too much, Kevin, okay? Emma might not be a doctor, but she definitely has a PhD in slaps. Yeah. So we'll be able to get you fixed in no time. Or not. Kevin? What the hell? He's fine. He just snapped out of it on his own. What? He just got close to Emma and drowned out all the brain spores with dirty thoughts. They really were not lying about the weather. It sounds weird outside right now. And I just realized that these wild, bizarre plants that have all of a sudden bloomed 
can actually give us evidence. We took a picture of it. And I also noticed that you can taunt it. And I thought, you know what? We should probably use the test dummy and see exactly what happens. <laughs> For science. Oh, yeah, that's it. Just kick it. Kick the spores right into your lungs. Doesn't even infect him anymore. He's building up a resistance. Kevin, I honestly feel bad for any spore that ends up in your brain. Like, imagine being released by this plant and expecting this whole cerebral buffet and then getting the wet fish stick that is Kevin's brain. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. Oh no, Emma. Don't actually be friends with these people, okay? We were just using them. There we go, okay, that's more like it. Actually, Maybe we can ask you more questions, right? You're, you're not technically as- Oh, he is a scientist right now. He's just dressed differently. Request evidence from secret lab. You willing to give us a little more? Wait a minute. Shouldn't all these people be infected right now? Look, there's spores everywhere. Maybe it takes a little bit longer for somebody with a fully developed adult brain. I don't know. Ooh, Kevin. Bad news. We've been waiting for military personnel to show up because we need to ask them about some kind of protection. And uh, it's a she, so fair's fair. Not really what I meant, but maybe it'll work. We're asking about the spores. Okay, straight to it. I just got this new infection scanner. It's really cool. It can, I mean, that is classified information, but if you can convince me, maybe I can give you one. Oh, she's got something on her mind. Oh, Jesus Christ, I was being sarcastic, but apparently we actually can seduce her for the infection scanner. No, no, let her walk away, Kevin, okay? I get the feeling that if we flirt with her, Emma's gonna go to jail for a real long time. Oh, we could have bribed her or impressed her. Let's impress her. Yeah, Kevin, not sure doing a bunch of push-ups is going to impress military personnel. Maybe you could try the detaching your thumb trick. She does not seem impressed in the slightest. I'm impressed. How are you still going? Holy crap. And in bunny slippers to boots. <laughs> Lady, just give him the scanner. Come on. I don't understand. He's been at this for like hours now. Oh, oh, wow. That was impressive display of strength. Look, I really should not be doing this. Ooh, did I get it? Yeah. Okay, we have an infection scanner. Number of scans before recharge, three. The infection scanner can be used to reveal spore clusters by clicking and scanning the ground. Try scanning areas with high concentration of spores. I don't really know where there would be more or less spores considering they're airbound, but I figured maybe near all the plants here in the desert. This is Kevin's best Breaking Bad impression. Anything? No, great. I'll get some spores real quick. How about that? Yeah, we can scan that cluster. <laughs> Kevin just laughs it off at this point. Kevin, you spore-brained idiot. You did it! You're a genius! You made it so that we don't need to talk to people anymore. We can take a picture of the plant, and that counts as one piece of evidence. Didn't even take a picture of the plant there. Pretty sure he took a picture of Emma's chest, but sure, we'll take it. If we wanted to take another picture, we can't, because we already have one photo. Wouldn't count. But we can pass this over to Emma and then take another picture. Which means we have infinite evidence. Kevin, point the camera at the damn plant. I feel like I'm at the point in The Sims where literally nothing will surprise me anymore. Will you get it out of the camera, please? Will you, will you move? You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of The Sims 4, guys. Has Kevin doomed all of humanity to brain parasites? Find out next time. And thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.